Hi guys, I'm Nova and welcome back to Gone Home. Now I didn't I don't think I looked as thoroughly in here as I should have, so I'm gonna go back through here. Okay. How cute. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Aww. At least she's not being a brat to him anymore. Like, I think that's the kid from the note in the very first part. And I felt sad for him. Alright. Don't care. Is there anything up there? No. Wait, what? what's the date? Is it... I think it's June 6th? Are you kidding me? We'll call with exact date. So they didn't know exactly, and they went on a freaking anniversary trip, and that's all it was? I hate this game. I wanted people to be murdered. Man. So disappointing. That's like a cop-out, though. I'm angry. Alright. I guess there's nothing else. Stupid gang. Alright. Okay. Out of the garage. Wait, so... I don't... Alright, so they just told her they were leaving with a note? That's... They didn't tell anybody, they just left. It's irresponsible. Okay, oh, another secret panel. Neat. Alright. Lonnie had her going away oh. show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated Aww. the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna freaking cry too. Anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Why is it so sad? She left her purse too. I just want them to be together. <gasps> Alright. I really am sad though. Like, I'm not sarcastically crying. It's very... Uh, okay. It's more of that one thing. <gasps> Sam! For smoking and now this? 
You are grounded. Uh oh. Oh. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. Uh -oh. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. <laughs> That's why I didn't Aww. see coming. That they wouldn't Dude. even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Yeah, they seem like kind of crappy parents to me. They just leave. Alright, where am I going? And they, uh... Okay. I can even open the washer. That's alright. Ooh, a greenhouse. Seriously, I want this house. It's so amazing. What's that? That's... Couples counseling. <laughs> <sighs> the accidental human. What? What? How does one accidentally. Oh. That's the, uh. It's a thing for the thing that I just picked up. I getcha. So what I'm getting from that is that they, that they didn't, um, he, he wrote a successful book and then they didn't want, uh, a secret door where we'll do it. We agreed Ooh, our last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. That's so sad. Stop being sad. I don't know why I'm closing stuff still. Uh, what I was saying before the journal is it seems like he wrote a successful book and then they just wanted him to write sequels and when he tried to do other stuff they were like, no, we don't like it. Okay. I see what the doing it thing was. They're trying to... What? Oh. Trying to get that ghost guy to uh, leave. Or, oh, key. Key, gimme. Thank you. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Wait, am I gonna find her up there? 
Oh no, because she wrote the note, so she actually left. Oh! Oh, alright, maybe. Maybe I know what happens, I don't know. I don't wanna... Can I... A whole lot of stuff just clicked in my head from like the very first part. There are so many secret places in this house, this is like... It seems like the parents didn't even know. So that's basically amazing. I'm really gonna cry. My heart is crying. Oh my god. Oh. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through Yay. with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can. And get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Yay! That's where she went. Okay, yeah, my prediction was right. Oh, this is Katie, where all of them are. I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. So, my computer crashed right at the end, and I'm thankful that it at least waited until the end, because I probably would have had to play through the whole game again. But, um... Yeah, that was gone home. I had a minute to collect my thoughts, and my first reaction was to say that this is not a game. And I'm still kind of leaning that way. But for whatever it was, it was amazing. Now, as a game, I don't think I can recommend it. Um, I think I would recommend that you just watch the full story and uh, that's kind of the end of it on YouTube because playing it yourself there's not a whole lot of I mean maybe you could find stuff that I missed or that other youtubers missed but um, I mean it's yeah yeah that's I'm gonna leave it there but it was a really good game it was worth my time um, yeah, it was good for what it is. As a game, as a story, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go for now. Thanks so much for watching.